I want to give an update before any of the workers get here on the backyard project. Just sometimes I think it's fun to see the progress and uh, not just the before and afters, but the in-betweens. This bed that I planted a few weeks ago, of course I have all of my patio things scattered all over the place. So it does look pretty junky, but I am happy that a lot of these things are standing tall and um, I have never seen my geraniums do this. This is Max Frey geranium. They look so pretty. Now that one was already there. The ones I planted like these, they're not doing as well. That one is. And it turned pretty cold after I planted it. I think that one might be a goner. But anyway, I think this bed will be just fine in the spring for most of it. But this is the back patio. And they stamped this two days ago and then they poured and stamped the back half yesterday. And then they come in, came in and cut, I don't know what they're called, but the groove lines so the concrete isn't supposed to crack. And it has this wood plank looking stamp. And our hot tub there is disconnected. Can't wait to get that back. It's perfect weather for hot tub. And it's concrete dust and uh, coloring powder because this concrete will be colored. It's scattered all over. I know some other states are covered in ash right now. So this is a similar scene, although mine's not because of devastation. And oh, I just think about those states all of the time. Oklahoma with ice storms and Colorado and California and Oregon with fires. And I am very grateful for my garden. So here it is. And over here is where all of that garden stuff that I just showed you came from. Oh, it looks so very, very different. And I hadn't realized that they took down, I guess the workers took down trellis. Nine bark. Isn't it so pretty? I talk about this thing all season because it just has so many personalities. I just love it. With this pinky winky standard hydrangea here, it is so close to the corner of this pool that I, um, it's very likely that I'll have to take that out and I'm thinking maybe just putting this evergreen over here in the corner and moving that down further. That would be a spring project, so I'll have the whole winter to think about that. This is the backyard. My poor neighbors, that street up there has been a mess of dirt, mud, rock. And you can't see in the film, but I can see everybody's uh, tire marks going into their garages. <laughs> so uh, after we had our d dirt delivered, it rained pretty hard. So it was quite a mess. There's my trellis. I haven't been out here to do any more fall cleanup because of course I did not want to be in their way. So I've used these days to work and do inside projects. And in the meantime, these trees above me just dropped their leaves in one day, came out here and it was covered, covered in leaves. So whatever's in the bed, whatever's in the bed, I will leave and let that make its own mulch. And whatever's in the yard, I talk to my hole digger and he will run the mower over it and mulch it. And then I'll stick that into some of the other beds that aren't under trees. It's funny that this pathway here is clear. Oh, my workers are getting here. This is year one for this oak leaf hydrangea and it is showing off some color. And this scene right here. Oh, it's, 
it's um, hazy because of the sun behind it, but I just love this with this, the smoke bush here. These are daisies. This is a vanilla strawberry hydrangea. I have some grass, don't know the name. Amsonia, and then my tiger ice sumac, and then some purple mums and some coppersmith mums. It's such a pretty fall scene. Let me see if I can get it from the other end. Ooh, that's horrible. It looks completely different from the other side. This is my first year with annual mums and I did not trim them back as much as I should have. This scene is completely different with the green grass, but that's my favorite fall scene. So I just thought it would be neat to, to do a progress report on the yard and cannot wait to see what this will look like in the spring and how we I'm just sort of excited about the process of reviving it uh oh looks like some trucks got in here broke a paving stone that's okay it is all fixable and it just gives me it's like I have an art project waiting for me and when I'm tired of thinking I can relax in the pool won't that be nice